and they're off for the Labrooks King George VI Chase Grade 1. Two out in the King George and Frodon still have the lead with Bryony Frost. The lead is about two and a half lengths to St. Calvados. Waiting patiently begins to fly in the hands of Brian Hughes. Has he got enough time to beg back Frodon? Frodon over the final fence, led by three lengths. Waiting patiently, he's running out of time. Inside the final half furlong, Frodon is out in front for his biggest prize of all. Frodon has taken the King George. Silver Street is finding readily for Adam Wedge. They rise to the last. Silver Street by two lengths. Epitont is in second. They're a long way clear of the rest. And inside the final half, Furlong, the likeable, lovable grey. Silver Street, this is his day. His big prize. Silver Street have won the Christmas hurdle. Down towards the final fence, Shamblu comes to it. A lead of a length and a half. And again, he jumps it much better than the big breakaway in second. And inside the final half, Furlong, it is Shamblu. He's now a perfect three out of three over fences. And he's jumping as well today. Coming to the final flight, and it's Zanny here. Fractional advantage from Bottleton. Zanny here sent on by Jack Kennedy. And Danny here is further enhancing his credentials in the juvenile division. And it's Franco de Port who's getting the better of Darmastar. They pull well clear of Felix Deji and embittered. And it's Franco de Port. Franco de Port has found his true vocation over fences. Jack and Pourcois has them run ragged up the straight. It wasn't to be last year, but is well and truly making up for it in 2020 at the Penny's Rewards Club Chase but it is appreciated, pouring on the pressure and has readily gone clear of Bally Adam and then comes Irascible and Kes Gondris, but appreciated, will stay at the top of the three over flights. Castleborne West over the final fence, racing inside the final half furlong, and it's Castleborne West with 11 stone, 10 on his back, is making virtually all in the Paddy Bar chase. And they're off. For the Labricks, Desert Orchid chase this great two over the two miles. This is two from the end. Duke de Ginevra made a bit of a mess of it. Now Nube Negro looms up to the inside and now grabs the lead on this run down towards the final fence. And as they head down towards the last, his Nube Negro is in front, racing clear by about five lengths at the last. Got over it in a bit of a mess, but it's clear by about five lengths on the landing side from Altior in second, then Duke de Ginevra back in third and heading up towards the line. This will go to New Bay Negra, the Desert Orchid chase easily. Racing down towards the final fence, he develops a five to six length lead. At the last now, Shishkin, he's over safely. And that's made sure of victory now from Tamarit de Matan. Then a lucid bell back in third, followed by Gumball, but it's even for Shishkin. Flooring Porter over the final flight, and it is Flooring Porter driven out by Jonathan Moore. It's going to take his place with the stairs at the top table. Flooring Porter, what a win! The white sag is raised, they're off in the vintage renewal of the Savas chase. And it's Mel and pressed on the outside by Kem Boy. Aplutar is gaining on them in third, and then Alaho as they come down to the final fence and wrestling back the lead is Kem Boy, previous winner from Mellon. And on the outside is Aplutar as they come away from the final fence. It's Kem Boy with digging back in on the far side. Mellon, Aplutar is just in behind them in third. It's Kem Boy, Mellon, and Aplutar as they go towards the line. Kem Boy, Aplutar. Tar still coming on the near side and has lifted it in the last ride. Brave man's game heads towards the final obstacle with about a three length advantage, got over it safely. He's about 10 ahead now with Harry Cobden as he races towards the line. And Brave man's game has comprehensively beaten his rivals here at this mansion bed shallow. There's nothing between Monkfish and latest exhibition. They've landed matching strikes. Monkfish is having to dig in on the far side. Monkfish in front from latest exhibition as they run up to the finish. It's Monkfish underlining his potential over fences. 
San Juan begins, he's run on the outside of Sardia, but here comes Sardia, and Sardia is looming up to ask Bartar and San Juan. As they come down to the final fight, Petty Mouchoir is trying to come again. Sardia has dropped back and he's been eased, well beaten as Abacadabra, racing away from the final fight, and it's Sardia on the near side, getting to grips with Aspartar as they run up to the finish. Sardia and Patrick Mullins, they're just something else in this race, winning it three times. He really does, he's like Santa, yeah, he rocks up every year at Christmas, but um, he's better than, better than Santa ever was to me anyway.